My name is Tammy, and last year I did the virtual retreat with the Keto Sisters. I had the best time. I learned a lot of stuff about myself. I did an I am statement. I uh, learned what my personality type was, all kinds of fun things. The only regret I had is that I didn't go in person. So this year, I signed up immediately to go in person. So sign up virtual, in person, whatever. You will have the best time and learn lots of things. Hey everybody, this is Christian Naughton and I just wanna share a little bit about the Keto Sisters retreat I got to take part in last year and just what it meant to me and the special highlight moments. There were so many, but just walking in and being greeted by these amazing women with hugs and love and smiles was just the perfect way to start off the weekend and be in the same space with each other after COVID and lockdown was amazing and the food was phenomenal. Keto Nurse Rhonda and Melinda Bell did such a fabulous job of wowing us with each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, new place settings each time. Um, the food was phenomenal, all keto friendly, and then the devotions that were led by Melinda Bell. Um, she did a couple and we really got to think about some strongholds we had been holding on to for some of us many years. And then at the end of the day, we wrote them down on note cards and stuck them in our pocket and walked around with them all day. And at the end of the day, we got to burn them in the fire and release them once and for all. So those are just some of my highlights, but I highly recommend you come, whether virtually or in person. We would love to have you and it's just gonna be amazing. Hi, my name is Debbie. And last year I did the Keto Sisters Retreat for the first time. Um, and it was amazing. I highly recommend it because yes, we learned a lot of stuff. We learned about our personality, the Enneagram and, um, you know, just, we learned some keto stuff. We had some amazing meals. We learned, we just learned a lot about, um, us. We did an I am statement, but to me, all that is amazing in and of itself. But what affected me the most was it felt like I found a tribe, like my tribe, like a group of women who I had never met before except for online, through Zoom, through doing the challenge and, um, you know, just back and forth and messenger and things like that. I had never, ever met any of them in person. But as soon as I walked in the door, I had just had um, a sad event happen prior to it. And as soon as I walked in the door, I was met with hugs. And like they were long lost friends, someone you had knew forever. And see, I get emotional just talking about it now, but that was the most amazing part of it to me. It's just, and as women, we know that that's difficult to find. And um, so I highly recommend you giving it a try in person is awesome. If you can't get there in person, we had a bunch of ladies that did it virtually and we included them all in um, the things that would make sense to do that. And they had a wonderful time. They did say they wanted to be here in person this year. So, um, that, but it is an option if you can't travel. Um, it's just that community that is so important to all of us, especially right now. So if you're if you're on the fence thinking about it, just just do it that that is my recommendation just do it you won't regret it